Uh, St. Mary's, uh, we believe, is possibly one of the most iconic buildings in the northeast of England. Photographers come from all over the nation just to take pictures of the lighthouse. It's also extremely important to the local community. It really is. It's not just a building. It is part of when they grew up. They used to come rock pulling here. Um, it's, it is, to them, it's their lighthouse. Um, and we want it to stay that way. So the main work that will be happening structurally wise if we are to succeed with the funding is that the entire external and internal will be re-renovated. Uh, a lot of the lighthouse is now suffering from damp, so hopefully we'll be able to completely solve the damp issues and repaint inside and outside, renovate the entire visitor centre and create some extra educational spaces. Um, so I've presently now been working here for nine years. It's been a, a wonderful nine years and I've seen a, a lot of developments and hopefully this will be the biggest development. Um, there's lots of fascinating stories in terms of the keepers and the, the lives and the jobs they used to do. Uh, one that people find fascinating is the fact they actually have to clean the windows inside and outside every single day. So they used to use a ladder to clean them inside, but then they have to go outside a little hatch onto the balcony outside and they climb onto some very small handle holes, swing from uh, handle to handle like a monkey cleaning the windows as they went. And they would have to do this no matter what the weather, storm, snow, hail, and it was obviously a very, very scary job that not everybody could do. A big thank you to all National Lottery players. Uh, for, without their contribution, the project would not be possible. <laughs>